like my feet are covered in blisters. But it's okay, because we're, we're only going to see Anthony Shikari now. Hi Izzy, you alright? Yeah, I'm just watching some of the old vlogs back. We've not done one in ages. Shikari are in Leeds. So I'm back in Leeds again after quite a while. Uh, first time of the year. But we've picked a good day for it even though the weather's not great. We're in Leeds because it's Shikari Day. First night of the massive UK tour in the Leeds Arena. First time they've ever played such a big venue. Biggest tour they've ever done. To say we're going to be there on the, the first show of that run is quite special for us. But as you know, this is a band that we all love. So tonight is the first time that we'll all be together. And I don't mean just the five of us. I mean everyone, including people from as far as the other side of Europe. So this is going to be a really special night. Hola. Do you want to see Shikari? Yeah, go on then. Hi. Oh, lovely. Hello. Ah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's been a journey. Oh, be careful. <laughs> right, Kieran, what is this interesting shot you're on about? It tastes like a jam donut and you'll fucking love it. What, what's in it so far? It's shambar and bagels. I don't like the way that looks. Sam. I really hope they play Sorry You're Not A Winner. No, thank it's you. It's like a baby Guinness, but... Well, she's a winner. Hello! <laughs> a minute separating. Well, do you can chew it. You know you have to drink it in one. No, you drink it in one, that's a shot. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it lumpy? Because you have to drink it in one. Oh. It goes lumpy in you. Why is there bits in it? It's because it's been sat there for so long that it's curdled. Shane, I'll do it. Look. Shane, go on. Drink it, then. Shane, I'll do it, look. Right, I'm lumpy. not looking after him. Right. It, it is lumpy. It is lumpy. Is lumpy. Oh, no. It is lumpy. Oh, sorry, Izzy. Thank you. I, I... Mine's finished. <laughs> Sometimes pre-drinks is funnier than the actual gig itself. Is this what filming porn's like? <laughs> Sam, is this true? Can someone stop in? Right, yeah, you said you were your finger. I'm going to spit on it first. No, no, no. Sorry? <laughs> we are no way sending your bank cards over Ukraine. Can't tell if that's the lights that are flashing or just my eyes at this point. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm extremely scared. <laughs> I am going to be a, the verb to be a. A meal deal is expensive. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke! Oh, no! <laughs> It's a bit fucking late for all, isn't it? Do not use the C word. I didn't bring it up, Shane. Do not talk about Christmas. It's in the corner. Leave the cat alone. Ooh. What's the key to a good Slavic squat? You're going to rip them. Um, What's the key? Your heels on the ground, that's it. Everyone is just mastering this. Still down. I'm going to say, looking good here. Heels on the ground, Jamie. Heels on the ground? Yes, that's the key to a Slavic squat. I thought it was just like... As taught by the like Slav. The heels on the ground. Go Slavic squad. Slavic squad. I've got me. Come on, come on, Who knew it took so much effort to just take a photo? We got it! <laughs> we didn't get it. Kieran two, in terms of living in this house, but Kieran won chronologically for us. Right, well, you can fuck off. <laughs> Kieran one's Kieran one, and Kieran two's Kieran two. But which Kieran am I? Right, now that that's issued, is resolved. Is it Shane or Shane? Oh fuck! Oh, fuck right off! Don't worry about giving someone a fucking second degree. <laughs> are we at a gig pre drinks or are we at a house party in 2009? Thought we wouldn't notice. But we did. Boomers here. Gig. Sam has a 100% fucking diabolical record with Nights Out in Leeds. 
I'm walking it. Jamie, who's the hardest Uber driver you've ever had? That guy. Who's the hardest Uber driver you've ever had? Who's the hardest? Who's the hardest Uber driver you've ever had? I never I went to Uber Java. So tonight is uh, unfortunately the only night on the tour that we can make. But what a way to, to do it. Finally getting to like all be together um, in the same place at the same time, seeing the band that actually brought us together. Al, why have we got a pick and mix machine at the Shikari show? Uh, capitalism. Now, this tour is happening in February. So it's freezing outside, but inside it's going to be fucking roasting. So what I've done with this very simple trick. And then you just do that, right? And then you do it for the other leg. And there you go. And that's how you stay. <laughs> I'm actually just really far away. Wish the beer was. I wanted to see if I could um, teach you guys a part and have you sing it back to me. Is that possible? Is that everything? Like into a space where we were underrepresented and to be in rooms like this where people make us feel comfortable and encouraged to be in this space is huge. We want to say thank you so much. Have a fantastic evening. Take care of each other. Love each other. Free Palestine.
every time I see that band that it's the best band in the world but my god that that show is absolutely just stepped up a notch I'm so proud of them for a start and I'm so happy that I get to do this with with friends that I made because of this band I'm gonna pass out my shoes are broke my shoes are broken uh, I think my bag's broken a little bit I'm certainly broken. <laughs> what about second confetti? They call him um, Sammy Two Hats. See, my hat, my head is too big for a five for a six panel for the snapbacks. <laughs> I've been waiting for Shikari to release another five panel for nine years. I bought said fire panel for the last encore of the song. Somebody stole it while I was crowd serving. So now 60 pounds on a singular hat, but worth. Jamie's got it as well. Oh, it's Jamie. Jamie stole my hat while I was crowd serving. Jamie, you owe me 30 pounds. Uh, aren't you wearing two hats right now? Yeah, but I bought another one and it got stolen while I was crowd serving. <laughs> So Jamie, give me back my fucking hat or we're gonna have a fight. This one? Yeah. I just bought it. You stole it. I don't believe you. Come I on. actually have a witness. I don't know. No, 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 no. You come in here <laughs> this no. day. And I also bought the Muppet shirt as well. You will give me back my fucking hat. Let's go. Are you serious? Right, that side of the line is going home and that side of the line is staying out. What side Jeremy of the line are you on? Sam. 
<laughs> we don't want you Bye, to Sam. come out. <laughs> no, you're not. Sorry, you're fucking delete that right now. <laughs> delete that right now. <laughs> It's vetoed. To me, it's not happening. It's not even, it hasn't happened. No, you're not putting this in. No, you're not putting this in. It's not going in. It's not going in. It's not going in. It's not going in. Right, who's staying out? You're going home. We're going out for a little bit and then we'll meet you at home. Right? Shane, come here. What are we doing? Jaegus Bombers. All of this is copyrighted music. I win. That's staying in the video. No, the unthinkable has happened. Me and Sam are too tired for Key Club. I know, I know we they thought the day would never come, but... They want to be in a queue for half an hour and then go home. But that's just all going to be that what we do. It's just going to be in the queue and then we're like, oh no, I'm tired, let's go home. Bear in mind it is also like minus two. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm fucking freezing. This, I'm wearing this hoodie, right? Look at that. Look at that, you can, you can see my hand through this hoodie. I've had this hoodie since my first ever Ed Shikari show in 2011. So, when I say that I'm fucking freezing. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, no chance. You're a melon. We were going to stay out. Um, and with it being, you know, the only show that we're, we're all doing. Uh, Would have been nice too. Would have been nice to show some new people Key Club for the first time. Uh, but we're all just that set was so good that we're all just a bit fucked so we've decided to just come home and i think we're gonna play some jackbox which means i'm gonna have to censor quite a lot of what's about to happen there's one shane have a, have a look at the other one what <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your sleepover. I know Jamie didn't want to share a room with me, but it's it's still a sleepover. I'm only there. So we, we're not going to stay up late and talk. Obviously, you'll appreciate that glass when I'm snoring later. Like that, with his eyes open, like a fucking, like Gandalf. What is Gollum doing in here? You missed it. See? Leave the cat alone. It's primarily, oh, there was no means for that. <laughs> there was no means for that. No, you're saying. James pretending to be asleep to avoid the violence. <laughs> See you at breakfast. <laughs> Shut up, Sam. <laughs> I was gonna. Uh, the fucking you. <laughs> Good night. No. <laughs> I know you wanted to say it, so I just said it. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Hi, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. If you want to see something similar to this, then you can click on the link here. If you want to see something very different to this, you can click on Something about the lions being at the door and not taking order from snakes no more. <gasps> <laughs> we're in Hamburg. Stephanie? We're Hi. in Hamburg. No, we're not. Wait, wait, we're, we're in Edinburgh. Sorry, Edinburgh. <laughs> You've come from Hamburg. <laughs> wow, that's embarrassing. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, currently walking down the Royal Mile, which is uh, because it's cold and it's uh, February quite quiet at the moment but uh it's good to be back in scotland it's good to be back oh 
Oh, Gibby, I didn't know you wanted to come to Scotland that bad, mate. Gibby? Oh, fine, be that way. There was a house. There was a house in a Does he do something Christ-like? Yeah. Do something Christ-like? Yeah. Oh, fucking hell, what a fool. Die on the cross. <laughs> we got the boot! We got the boot! Hi Al, you alright? Yeah, I'm just watching uh, one of the vlogs back. Remember when we went to Manchester for Shikari last year? We've not done one in ages. What do you mean, they're in Manchester again? Today is Manchester. It's not raining, but it is wet. Gibby booked a hotel in the city centre, which is great. It's going to be really great for later, but it's nowhere near the venue. It's a 45 minute walk. And I've got all my <laughs> stuff. But it's going to be a really fun night tonight. I'm very, very excited. I can't quite believe how quick this tour has come around from it being announced. I'm very, very ready for tonight. So after a lot of faffing about, <laughs> uh, trying to find each other first of all, and then even more faffing about trying to get into the hotel, we're currently in a lift that's just been broken. Um, Thanks for reminding me of that kit. We've escaped, it's fine. Is this us? Sandy, call this. Deactivated the other kit. Oh. Come on, Jamie, struggle. Oh, good, it comes with its own 1975 vanity mirror. Wake up! Now, most people, when you check into a hotel room, would unpack your clothes, uh, maybe unpack your toiletries. Not Jamie, though, he's unpacked his PlayStation 4. Happy Valentine's Day, Stacey. We've been given a task by Gibby to... Oh. <laughs> it's like an arts and crafts project. <laughs> Cheers. Happy Palantines. Happy, Happy Palantines. <laughs> that all the money from that Bring Me Reaction video coming in. <laughs> no, not no money at all. Because it got a copyright strike, right? <laughs> and then I got no fucking money. There we go. So please subscribe down below so we can earn... A little bit of money from stuff like this for better champagne so there are going to be lots of different and shikari lyrics disguised in spoken word poetry form and it's who can tell me the song you make your opponent drink it is just you against stacy because i obviously know exactly what they are so it's, it's completely pointless for me to it's play on. sun and sea could power us no longer cower in oil lust Chernobyl is still a stain of the dangers of this game. The beginning or an end. No, I can't. No sleep time. Yes. Yes. Drink, Drink. He was. I should, I should have got that because that's from the best album. Yay! Round of applause for Jamie. Yay! Jamie, who spent £32 on a hotel last night and was very bored. Yay. Yay! And if you'd like to see more of that game, then let us know in the comments down below and Jamie might do like an actual, a full video. I will. I'm a slut for content. Please don't step on my luggage. More champagne? More beer? I'm gonna... What is that that you're going to down first? This is uh, White Claw's version of vodka, which is mango flavoured. Have a sniff of that. Have a whiff of that. <laughs> What happened to, I'm going to down this, and then... I didn't say I was going to down it. You did. You did. You did. did he... Yes, yes, he did. Yeah, you did. Two against one. Down it. <laughs> Please don't die Two right. You know the night's not off to a good start when Jamie said we're not even in the venue yet and Jamie says 
It's all right, I've just been sick in my mouth. So the reason we came for like literally outdoors is because um, on this tour, Shikari have done like a... Well, we do, we do like that as well. But the main reason was because on this tour, Shikari have a very limited run of like a, a print thing they've done and I'll put it on screen right now so you can see just how good it is. And they've signed it as well. So uh, we wanted to come, there's Please like very, very limited supply and we managed to get three of them. Jailbreak. What's the second item of business? I don't know what the first item of business was. Well, the first item of business was to get a poster. What's the second item of business? To the bar. These two are a bad influence on me. You're spilling, you're spilling that. The thing about following Shikari for so long is eventually you pick up friends from all over the place. Like tonight we've got a Stacy from Russia and we've got a Stacy from Ukraine and I know that's a bit of a sore subject at the minute. But tonight, through the, through the, through the medium of Shikari, we're gonna find a peace solution. Our countries are just lines drawn in the sand with a with stick. With a big fuck off stick. With a big fuck off stick. Very much, in fact, the oppressed. Every Palestine. Thank you. 
So those posters that we were on about before, it turns out that some of them, um, they're, they're supposed to be pink, right? And some of them, like, like exclusive ones, are actually orange. And um, so not only did we get one, we got two special edition ones, <laughs> all signed by, not yours though, Jamie. This is mine. That's mine, actually. Oh. You got a license for that, mate. With it being Valentine's Day, of course, just remember as well that love extends to not just like, relationship partners, but also to friends as well. Genuinely think you're amazing. I think you're really hard. I think you're really tough. I think she can have you. What, your Ukraine, Ukrainian state is gonna be? This is not, this is not a political metaphor. I've looked at you and I've looked at her and I think she would kick the living shit out of you. <laughs> Let's not. Al, you've redeemed yourself. We're going to do one game of trivia. Oh my God. Fuck you. We booked the hotel in the centre of Manchester. And the reason I booked the hotel in the place that we did is because every time we go out in Manchester, there's only one place that we ever go. And that's Satan's Hollow. And after almost a year... I've got this restaurant that, um, wait, wait. oh shit! I, I almost died for this vlog, so leave a like down below. Like and subscribe. He might not yeah. be around much longer. The, the effort that I put into these videos, I nearly died for, I'm basically Jesus. It's three o'clock in the morning, and I've been up for 22 hours. Even before the gig, we were all a bit run down, but the energy that Shikari brings, um, 
and the people that it brings together. Like we've made some new friends tonight. If everyone was called Stacey, the world would be a better place. If you step on Stacey's luggage, she goes, don't fucking step on my luggage. And then guess what? You never do it again because well, you she's, will. she set the tone. You don't want to see I me angry. Like, I feel like All right, the, Bruce other, Banner. the other Stacey would get the first punch in and then she would look at you and be like, don't fucking do that ever again. Right, let's just go to bed. Someone yes. take this key card off me. Let's just go to bed. Not the drink. Don't don't you dare squeeze my drink. What is what is that, mate? What have you got there? I'm um, just I'm just it, uh, just because it's not Valentine's Day anymore doesn't mean that it's love dies. I'll think about it. <laughs> it's not a no. <laughs> That's not a no. Well, that was our only show of the Shikari tour. Then. Hi Sam, mate, you alright? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just watching some of the vlogs back. We've not done one in ages. What do you mean, Shikari are in Manchester? Today we are in Manchester for a very, very special reason. Because tonight we are going to see Enter Shikari at Manchester Victoria Warehouse. And it is actually Jamie's. 200th and Shikari show. So we come for a spoon to, to, to stock up on food before we, we tackle what's about to happen tonight. You say that, I have just ordered a pint. Hello. 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 It's a very cold and wet day in Manchester, but we're sufficiently fed and watered. So now is the time to begin the festivities for Jamie's 200th show. Apparently Every time you some... say that, I hate it a little more. Why? I think it's a, it's, a, it's an achievement you should be proud of. It's like it's like on your birthday where someone's like, "How old are you today, Janice?" Eighty. Oh. We gonna have you two... don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. Are we gonna have two hundred candles for you to blow out? Because that's a fire hazard. Uh. so weird I don't know I don't know what happened there to be honest something just you know, something just doesn't feel right but anyway now it's time to just start partying Jamie let's crack open the first one and celebrate cheers mate cheers to your 200th show and your 50th sorry is that French beer you're drinking there Stacey yeah, I betray I, my own now I'm not saying I'm the cleverest person in this room. The game said that for me. Whoever did that. I know, I know we said there's no rules to this game, but my God. The <laughs> irony that I'd started filming this before the answers even came. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even have you as a contact on my phone. It's just a subscription. And now it's time for Jamie's gig training. Lesson one, getting on someone's shoulders. Yeah, so what you want to do is make sure you've got a band nearby. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, get get comfy and then assume the position. And then <laughs> just keep your body straight. Yeah, so don't lean yeah. there or there. Yeah. Just balance. Just engage. And and just like pretend then that you're the undertaker. And that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. Oh no, I don't like this. Yeah. I don't, no, no, I don't yeah. like it. Don't like it. No, no, thank you. No. Oh, oh, oh. oh we got right. right, when your legs are where Sam's are now, notice if you turn around, Shane, notice that little locking grip that Sam's got yeah. Yeah. behind the back. That helps keep Sam a little bit more balanced. Yeah. Yeah. as well because it's then we become one. As long as you don't lean too far forward or too far back. Well, I can already see what's kind of uh, And now yeah. the good part. <laughs> so it's down. Yeah. You want to put your feet out in front, away from the... Yeah, so they're yeah. there. Oh, nice. Yeah. There you go. Okay. And that's the most successful dismount we've had. Why are you 
wait, wait, wait. Let's ride! <laughs> Lesson 2. How to crowd surf. Yeah, That's the you, single. You just, you just do that. Yeah. And then you will And then be... it's just keeping everything like. Yeah. Keep your okay, feet. Okay, well, that's not ideal. Keep your feet in ideally. Jamie's gonna. That, that position. Assume yeah. the position. Like, they'll get you. That's the heaviest part. Yeah. So they're, heaviest. Gonna, they're gonna aim Matt. to get your ass. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. And then it's like just a try and turn on my side for security to like. Yeah. But don't try and roll yourself. Don't like like throw your own weight. Let people throw it just, for you. Just relax. But yeah. also <laughs> Thus concludes Jamie's gig training. Come back next time for more tips. Don't act like you're not intrigued. Bye. I am intrigued. Can I have a taste? I just need you can be the guinea pig if you want. Yeah. You're getting, you get a bit of everything there. And the yeah. mango, it's mango vodka as well. That is nice. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. I bought that in Vegas. Vegas, you say? What have you done? What Nothing. Gig after a very, very sweaty, very, very, sweaty. very, very sweaty, very tiring, actually, pre drinks. I'm, I'm knackered already. It's finally time to go and see Enter Shikari. Are we all ready to go? Yes. Are we sure? Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. Now, because there's so many of us going tonight, it would have been quite expensive to get a load of Ubers, like a fleet of Ubers, over to the venue. We're staying in the city centre. And the venue's actually not even in Manchester, it's in Salford. Um, so we're getting the tram. The only time I've been on a tram was in Blackpool. And that's easy to get the tram in Blackpool because all you need to do is go from one end, from one end of the pier to the other end of the pier. And that's so easy. But in Manchester, there's like an entire system. I haven't got a clue. Apparently you just swipe in when you get on and then you swipe off at the other end. And I mean, it's a great system, but I, I'm very like considering the amount of time we come to Manchester for gigs, this is just completely brand new to me. Is it the right one? Mm. I wonder what the Scouse is going to say about Manchester. I mean, I come here quite a lot for gigs, so I don't want to um, ruin my reputation. No, Manchester's a lovely place. It's just, it's very confusing to navigate Manchester because you've got trams and you've got, you know, one-way systems that no one knows how to use and buses and trains and all. It just gets really confusing and it's so big. Manchester is the London of the North. Well, that's the thing about nighttime, Alec goes darker. <laughs> Welcome to a cold and wet night in Manchester. And I can feel the cold even more because this hoodie that I've got on is full of holes. I've had this hoodie since my very first Enter Shikari show on the 8th of October, 2011. Since then, I've seen them almost 30 times. Doesn't matter where we are, doesn't matter what city we're in, what new people we've met, what friends we make. This is a band that just always brings people together. Let's toast to the fact we got this far. <clears throat> oh, let's fucking go. Look, we've got a physical ticket, an actual physical ticket from, from the before times. The great thing about this venue is, if you don't want to go watch the show, you can watch the show from the very back of the room by the bar. Because there's the show. And then they've got the show on TV as well. We're about to watch Jamie Rogers' 200th at the Shikari show. This is a band that has given me so much. It gave me this man as a friend. It, it, it's given me so much over the years, more than the band themselves will ever know. And what a way to celebrate them with this man. You actually just made it so much better. Thank you. Why are you watching Overwatch That's at the Shikari gig? <laughs>
Is this round two for everybody? Hello everyone. Hello everybody. The best part of my night was when I was stood under that fucking aircon. I've never known a Mackies to just shout the numbers at you and be very rude when uh when... It's like a big shit game of bingo. Yeah, just run straight through the middle of the fucking intersection. That's that's gonna go well. Kill me, please. I just want I want the sweet embrace of death and my McDonald's. Is it pre-drinks or post-drinks? If you if you're drinking between the gig and the night out, bed drinks. 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 Right. Well, yeah. we're going out to have fun in Satan's, Jamie. If you want to lie there and be boring, I'm not being boring. I'm gonna beat some. Meat. Sorry. I'm gonna, gonna beat, beat your meat. I'm gonna beat some teenagers at Fortnite. You're gonna beat. I'm glad you said at Fortnite then. <laughs> Where's the cup chair? I'm. You're in it. You're in the cup I'm chair. Just in the cup. Jamie, get your penis out. I'll show you a gif of it. What started as 11 people tonight has slowly been whittled down to just me and Sam. Um, as, as it is at every festival we go to as well. Pretty much, it's just you and me, last man standing. Yeah, 
wandering around in the middle of the night. It's your first time in Manchester, isn't it? It is, and it has been relatively straightforward, but the trams are weird, but they're great. Yeah. They're, f they're not free. No, they're not free. Don't, you need to scan in. Don't, don't they're, do they're what free. I They're free if you don't pay do attention to what you're doing. Where are we going now then, Sam? Satan, I don't how you doing? This is a bit... It's a bit pink! I didn't care, yeah, I didn't expect Disco Ball. Disco Ball is strange. Always, always take a photograph of your cloak room, so get kids. It might help out later. <laughs> I had a epiphany when I was playing up there that it is the last night of tour and I got really quite sad because this has been an absolutely wonderful experience that we've been looking forward to for a very, very long time, time, time. That's right, we've come to Hamburg for the final stop on this little mini tour. Jamie is currently looking for my sunglasses. Hi Jamie, you okay? Yeah, are you alright? You sound a bit off. Yeah, I think I just need a holiday. Well... Shikari are doing some gigs in Europe, so get your passport and let's go away for a few days. Okay. Did you have anywhere in mind? So today we are in Dublin. We've come all the way out over here um, to see Enter Shikari. Always nice when we can come to an international show to go somewhere we've never been before. And I say we because there's a few other lads joining me uh, a bit later on. The only flight from Liverpool going in the morning was very, very early, so I've just landed. It's currently about half past six, so I'm gonna have to find somewhere to go to sleep for a little bit and wait for the others to turn up. I'll have to try and find a bench or something. No, I don't wanna be blonde. Look who I finally bumped into. <laughs> literally. L literally. Come on. Look, look who we've finally bumped into. Anyway, uh, so the first thing we've decided to do, the second that we've met up in Ireland, is go to the pub. Perfect morning breakfast accompaniment. That is drop perfect. Hello. Hello. What time do you call this? Party time, baby. Welcome to home for the next few days. It's already home. Are you staying here? Can I can I join you? Can I stay as well? No. Oh. Welcome to Alcatraz. Look at that view. Super Mario. Standing on the rooftops, everybody. We've literally just got in the room and we've been here all of ten seconds. <laughs> 
Just stay there all weekend, Jerry. <laughs> you just determined to try and fit in every single space. Every hole's a goal. Rory C, what's your tackle? We've set our bags down in the hotel. We come out with some food because we're starving after what was a, a very long morning uh, messing about with flights and hotel shit and whatever. So first off after that was some food. We've come to a place called Leo Burdock, which is uh, based on the clientele that was on the wall there. Quite a good establishment. Hopefully it lives up to the name. It best live up to the fucking price, my God. Now is the most important part of this trip. We're going for a proper Irish Guinness. We're staying in a place in Dublin called Temple Bar, which is very famous for being like the center of the nightlife. And there's very a bar. Well. It is very expensive. Very we come expensive. to realize that straight away. Um, but there's a bar in Temple Bar called The Temple Bar, where apparently it's even more expensive. So we're going there to have a celebratory collective Guinness. Uh, we might only be able to afford one between us all. But we're gonna have one together and then because Jamie doesn't drink Guinness and I don't think Sam you drink Guinness either. So you've gotta have one while you're here and do like the tourist thing and Sam just walking in the way of people's photos. You don't like Guinness? Not a fan. But you're a fan of this Guinness? This is this is it's different here. Are you a fan? Well, it's fresher. It's are, you, fresher. Are, you, are you a fan of the price of this Guinness? I didn't pay. Liquid bowls, that is. That is. That's not a Guinness. It's Liquid bowls. It is the best pint in Ireland. That's better. That's better. It's better than the Guinness. Better than the Guinness. It's a dirty old town. Free brew dog. Oh Can't yeah, no. I'm providing you all. You're not getting anything, you little sh graf. No. Oh gosh. <laughs> ah, yes, thank you. I know, I know. I, I think that earlier work, Check to the Skies, was better too. We've got across yeah, the like historic Hayfley Bridge now, boys. What's so historic about this bridge, Shane? Well, it's really old and it's named like after a half penny. Feet. Well, like Lee half penny. No, it's oh. in a half penny. I was say he's Welsh. No, well, they named a Welsh a bridge off. Well, why did they name a person after money? <laughs> that's like what? Well, that's like the real life fucking Richie Rich. Like that's bullshit. Made up bollocks. Two when in doubt, always follow the Guinness lorry. Duck, duck. Oh, I get it because of the duck. Yeah. There's not been uh, that much to film today, really, which I feel quite bad about. But at the same time, we're all knackered. With the, there was so much messing about with those flights before. <laughs> and then getting into Dublin city centre and getting into the hotel and stuff. But we're in Dublin and we're in Dublin for a reason. And that is because Enter Shikari are playing tonight. And unfortunately we never got to see them on any of the UK shows. So we're here in a place that I've never been to but always wanted to come to because I'm a quarter Irish. So it's kind of like going back to your roots a little bit. But getting to come to places that I've never been to before and you know, following this band all around the world with friends that I made because of this band is it's just an incredible experience uh, no matter where we go in the world and it's that is never lost on me how fortunate we are to do this are we, go are we gonna talk about it talk about what what are, you, what are you doing wearing sunglasses inside are you pitbull are you, are you, are you bono it's what it's not bono it's been a long day and I, I don't want my eyes to be... Those bags are for life, aren't they? You're not filming that. <laughs> no, you're not filming, that's not going in. I'm here with, uh, I want to say fake Jamie, but I feel like that's that's uh, that's almost a disservice to you at this point. JC, JC, which is short for Jesus Christ. So tonight is my 30th Enter Shikari show. And as what happens when you get to your 30s, I'm needed to sit down. It's going to be a very different kind of Ed Shikari show tonight. It's going to be great nonetheless. There was a house.
gifted me this shit. It's fucking sick. <laughs> So much for so much for taking it easy. Oh, there's more. There's more. Why am I complaining about more Shikari? But I need to fucking go to bed. You alright? You alright? Bro, you see, I'm going to need a rip. Disappoint anyone that thought that I was being serious when I said that we were going to sit down and, and enjoy that show from the back. Have you not learned anything by now? Second Shikari comes on stage, nothing else matters. It's a phrase, to paraphrase James Hetfield. One of the sweatiest gigs we've been to in a long time because it's such a small room as well. But now we've got to try and find everybody else. Uh, and we're in Dublin, so let's just go and have the biggest party we can. That does look like someone's put a fucking iron on it. I crowd surfed and without any warning, without any signs, they just said, nah, we're kicking you out. And then even the security guard that I was like, look mate, I didn't know, I didn't have any warning. Happy to leave, happy to not do it anymore. And they were like, okay, it's up to you mate. You can, you can kick him out or you can keep him. And I was like, nah, kick him out. They threw me out. Eventually, I had a chat with the head of security and he did let me in. He was very much, it was a lot more reasonable. Um, you know, we had a, we had a good laugh and it was fine. He did make a valid point though, like, you said about there's no signs and he said there's no signs saying don't jump off the balcony. 
You know what, I might shower with the Metro from the tube because it's, it doesn't cost four euros. <laughs> I can't believe we only took off the opera for a free tower. It was only four euros. Sam was like, we're going somewhere else, and now he's shaking hands with this. Um, this? I was this. waiting for everyone. This pair of Anyway, Josh downed his drink, so where are you going? I don't know. <laughs> we're going to I don't know. Just met a geezer outside the pub. And uh, he was telling me, he was like, come here, come here. Like, I'll give you, I'll tell you where someone to go. And he like put his hand out, he wanted to shake my hand. And he was like, where are you from? Like, I'm from England. I'm sorry. <laughs> Immediately apologizing. And then he took my hand and he was like, do you know what? We accept you. And I, and I forgive you. I can't believe how good his English accent is. He's telling that story in an English accent. Uh, yeah, it's a very good accent, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so, Shall I be more racist? Well, let's see, let's see your English accent, uh, your Irish accent then, Shane, come on. My Irish accent? I'm sure I only have to talk anyway. I don't know, I, I think that needs a bit of work, mate, to be honest. She's getting the gears, it's all good. What I'm did sorry. I do now? <laughs> Drink it again. Cecil. Hashtag girl food Guinness. I am so sorry. Hashtag girl food Guinness. Hashtag girl food Guinness. Just because you don't like Guinness, Sam. Don't, don't take it home. And you deserve on the list. So what we've learned, Sam, from our journey in Dublin is, is that Guinness is shite, regardless of the country that you're in, and Shane is sometimes right. Right, so the lesson is don't get Guinness, get a Smithwix. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smithix, if you want to sponsor this video, by the way, get in touch. Well, I stayed out for as long as I could, but that second wind didn't last as long as I was expecting to. So, so you may see there that, that Rory shop that we went in before, uh, we actually bought that t-shirt that uh, Rory was wearing on stage tonight that said Rory's Fishing, University of Fishing or something like that. And uh, we gave it to Rory before the gig as a little present. This really makes me want to just stay out. Everywhere's so lively, everyone's having loads of fun. Jamie and Sam and the others have stayed out for a little bit longer, but today's been such a long day. But Dublin's been really fun. Still been an amazing night. Hello Shane, you alright? Yeah, I'm just watching some of the old uh, vlogs back. Do you know, it's occurred to me that you've you've never actually been in one. It, it's just such a shame that we missed all those Shikari shows, otherwise it would have been a great chance to have you in one. What do you mean the plane in Dublin? Today we are in Dublin, in Ireland, for the same reasons we go to a lot of places that enter Shikari are playing tonight. But while we're here, we thought we'd do some other stuff. We thought we'd start the day off with a tour of the Guinness factory, and then ending that tour with a nice, proper, proper pint of Guinness. Jamie's actually very hungover right now. I don't know if you can tell, because we were out last night. But what he's decided to do is come to the Guinness factory, the ultimate hair of the dog. Reason is playground boys. This makes you feel like frolicking, doesn't it? Oh, I see that. My like doctor told me about yeast once after a slight mild infection. How do you feel being in the yeast room? This reminds me of, of like when sea monkeys like come out of the eggs. It's always one bigger than the other. I can't imagine counting to a million, let alone 300 million. You get a calculator to do it. We've just learned that the official size of a head on the Guinness needs to be between 12 and 18 millimeters. Every pint of Guinness that I get now, I'm going to have to check that. And they have a team of people testing every batch of Guinness 23 times. I want that job. Why can't I have that job? And how do I apply for that job? But do you think it's maybe just an excuse for them to get pissed? Oh my god, this place is fucking huge. Going through really And that scent enters your nostrils, you know something good is about to happen. I know you can't smell that through the camera, but. I'm gonna have to have a look.
So I invite you all to take your own sample now in a couple of seconds, but before I do... So we're in the tasting room. And we all get a free little taste of Guinness. Except Shane had got a special one. So, to be in the teacher's pet and getting the question right. And again, she goes to bring that glass up to your nose. When you're ready, take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold that breath. And then follow it with a mouthful of Guinness. And towards the back of the knee, she goes to raise a toast. Here in Ireland, we say slancha. It's to our health. So if you raise your glasses, I'll do a little countdown. Three, two, one. Slancha. He died in 1803. The only known portrait of Arthur Guinness. How does anyone know that that's real then? It's true, there's nothing to compare. That's like the original Snapchat, though, isn't it? Don't you be getting any ideas? It's like warm apple pie. We've come to the Stouty Bar, which if you pay an extra eight euros, you get your uh, picture put onto the head of the Guinness. Just three boys. We're sat here in the Guinness factory at the iconic ass bar. The secret ingredient is crime. I taste good. Even the sunlight's Irish. So this tour costs 26 euros, which is about 20 something quid. And as part of that, you get a free a token for a free pint of Guinness at the end of it. So we've had the Stouty downstairs, which we paid extra for, like but you get a free pint at the end of it. So we're having our free pint with that view in the background. There's the Wicklow Mountains there and Dublin. What a, fa what a fantastic place, Ireland. Yeah. What an absolutely beautiful place. And I say that as biased because I'm poor Irish. We're in Dublin today because we're here to see Ed Shikari tonight, who's our favourite band. A band that is the reason that we know each other. And I feel very, very privileged to be here with two friends that I made because of this band in a, in a place, like look at that view, in, a, in an absolutely beautiful part of the world, drinking a Guinness. Cheers boys. And, and to Sam as well, who's not feeling well, but will be in the video later on. Slancha. Salon. Look at all the black Guinness down there. That is a lot of Guinness. And, and it's right behind the church as well. How do we get out of this fucking building? We, we went down the lift and then we got out. Is it. How, how do we get out of this building? Redirect now the, my post to the Guinness factory. I just live here now. Never mind. Shane's found an acoustic method of escape the staircase. Where, where, are, we, where are we going? Right, back to the digital method it is. And now we come to the most expensive part of the tour. The gift shop guinness tour done now we're heading back to uh, we're staying in temple bar which is notorious for being the liveliest place in dublin and it's a friday so uh, we we say this in every video but this is not going to end well i got your boys a present so pick your guinness pin oh, and we will each you. have a guinness pin we either have the toucan the zookeeper or the tortoise oh thank you very much you want the tortoise thank you very much jamie I thought um, it said the Gibby collection. You can't park there, mate. You can just tell, leading the walk now, that he's he's. There's an element of confidence that wasn't here when uh, was first landed, and, and now the cars are just apparently stopping for him. Don't fucking stop for me! I ain't no fucking tourist. Look, an Irish rainbow. Quick pot of gold. Now, Shane, being a native to this fine green land, recommended a place called Supermax, which also has a Papa John's in it. So we've decided to get some chicken and chips, some proper Irish food. Right, I don't know what it is that Ireland puts in the chicken, but I would definitely be going there again. Going on a bit of a history tour, uh, as well as the history of Guinness, there's a lot of other things to see in Dublin, including Dublin Castle, which you can't really see because it's a very rare sunny day in Ireland today. For people who've played GeoGuessr, you might recognise this building as whenever you do landmarks or just Ireland in general, that building is what you see every single game. And then you turn it around and you go, oh yeah, there's Dublin Castle, I'm in Dublin. So a nice little cheat for you if you're ever playing GeoGuessr and that building ever pops up. You realise you're disrespecting every single one of Shane's ancestors there. <laughs> oh, good. Fantastic. 
<laughs> the next stop on our historical tour of Dublin it brings us to the, the GPO, the General Post Office, which is where the, uh, the revolution started. And as you can see, there's actually the bullet holes still still in the, uh, the pillars outside. I always find it strange being in like historical places that still get used today. Like this is still a functioning post office, but this is where the uprising happened essentially, um, where it started. And it's still, it, it, it's so weird being in places that have such big historical significance and thinking like, look what everything happened here. And then you've got Doris coming to get her stamps on a Monday morning. We're at the bottom of this which used to be Nelson's column and they replaced it. But when you are at the bottom and you look up, it is incredibly, it just looks like it goes on forever. It's moving. It feels like I'm moving. It's the clouds. Jamie, if you get all the way up there, I will buy you. I will buy you three Harry pints of Guinness. Three pints of I'll Guinness. Three pints of Guinness. I'll buy you three pints of Guinness if you get like all the way up there. By changing pies. Three him. pints of Sorry. Guinness. I'll, I'll do it. I'll buy him a parachute to get back down. Will you do it for three pints of Guinness? Uh, I'll do it for four. I mean, it looks more like Donkey than Shrek. Jamie's gone on a bit of an excursion um, and made some friends and managed to get us some nice straw hats from uh, the bar oh. that's downstairs. You not got yourself a hat? No. Well, I need to get one. Oh, that suits you. And Solange. Sol Solange. <laughs> that's Solange? Be that's Beyonce's sister. Solange? What is it? Slancha. 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 Like launcher, but slaunch. Slancha. Slancha. Say it right, Jane. Slancha. 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 The more I say it, the more. I, am I saying right? The more you say it, the less of a word it sounds. <laughs> Just say cheers. Sam and Jamie are a bunch of tired boys, so they've gone for a bit of a nap. Me and Shane have decided to get on it a bit early before the gig and uh, come to the bar that is underneath the hostel that we're staying in, the Oliver St. John Cogatees. So we decided to come in because apparently some good pints and some even better live music. <laughs> decided to leave Gogarty's after one drink because uh, as fun as it is, it was absolutely rammed in there and I'm not drunk enough to get up and dance yet. So we're going to try a very famous bar, probably the most famous bar in Dublin, if not the most famous bar in the whole of Ireland. Uh, we're staying in a place called Temple Bar, but this is the Temple Bar and I've heard it's very expensive. That's a proper pint of Guinness in the most famous bar in Ireland with an Irishman listening to the Beatles. What gets better than this? Oh, what a lovely scarf you have, sir. <laughs> this, see, this is why I have to get them replaced like six times a year. Is he going to spill it? Oh, what a champ. What a champion. I've heard stories about Temple Bar being a bit mad. So far, it's not disappointed at all. And they're like, fuck me, mate. You could have been a bit lighter, couldn't you? I was like, oh, sorry, I left. Security I bought... said that. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> so this is such an exciting time.
most European cities get the electric tram. Round number two, then. Was anyone here for round number one? Unnecessary pauses in order to manipulate your emotions. Hi, fake Jamie. All right, I'm James. I'm James now. Yeah. Huge shout out, out as always to the boys in Shikari for being just absolute <laughs> ballers, absolute top guys. Just spent a while there chatting away with them. Huge respect to the guys as always. But now it is time for more Guinness and to experience Dublin on a Friday night. Oh no, this baby has been abandoned. That's been put out really. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, it has! <laughs> oh. Why is it whenever me and you go abroad, there's always problems with a pram? <laughs> that, that does not sound good at all. <laughs> what's a ham and cheese jam bun? What's jam bun there? You know, what's like the like, jam origin of the jam bun? It's a pastry with cheese and bacon in it. Oh, that sounds great. We should have said that. It's fucking jambon, that's what I mean. I've never heard it called yeah. that before. It's not called a fucking jambon, it's a ham and cheese crown. What if you go into, say? if you go, I don't care what it what says. Does it say? I don't care what it says. If you go into Aldi or or any supermarket, Maybe. it says two ham and cheese crowns in a box, right? But apparently over here, it's called a jambon. Now I didn't know what a jambon is. And I saw, oh, and there, that's a crown. And even the fella behind the counter started laughing at me going, Oh, 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 it's a crown, it's a crown, it's a crown. Yeah, it's because it's a fucking crown, because it looks like a crown. It's a pastry with ham and cheese in it that's folded over in the shape of a crown. And I'm being laughed at. Royalist. I've been laughed at the shop. Don't you fucking dare call me a royalist. It's a fucking jam, It's a ham and cheese crown. It's delicious. It's it is delicious. And I know because I have them. 
and they're called ham and cheese crowns. It's, do you know why, Shane? Do you know why it's a crown? Because the pastry is folded over into the shape of a crown top. Do you know why it's a jambon? It says fucking jambon. Thank you very much, sir. Smithwick's 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 in a chalet. Smith Dominic Solanke. Dominic Solanke. To be honest, sister. Here we go, Fitzsager. Find the left, just where they can. Into your mind, in your stomach, and your anus. Apparently, in Ireland, there's a tradition that for good luck when you drink a Guinness, you have to split the gene. So the first sip that you take of a pint of Guinness has to go to in the middle of the gene. I told you, I told you I split the cheese. Let's fucking have it, Lord. <laughs> New York, New York came on, and then in the words of PCK, big light come on. We got we got the drinks poured into plastic cups so we can take them outside. A man should always be drunk when he talks politics. I don't know where we're going next. Don't mind this guy. Don't he doesn't have you don't have to fucking listen to him. You're making me look bad now. Just fucking stand up. What do you have to say? Please, let us come back. Ladies, tell me if that riz wouldn't work on you. What's that? That's what? Can I do three? Okay, three, two, one. <gasps> come back to three. <laughs> what, where is it? One, two, three. What the fuck? Dublin has been very fun. The Guinness goes down way too easy. It's a bit expensive, but it goes down way too easy. So you end up spending a lot more. I look forward to coming back. But for now, I'm going for a well-deserved rest. So that is it. We are coming home from Dublin. We're in the airport after what was a very, very wild uh, a couple of hours, very wild night in Dublin. I was chatting with Rory C and Chris uh, from Enter Shikari after the gig there. And I was telling them how it's coming up to 10 years since the first time I ever met those guys. And um, the, reason I, the reason I'm an Enter Shikari fan and I want to give a huge shout out um, is because of a group of friends that like sat me down and, and basically forced me to listen to them. So to Kieran and Josh and Dickie, and Hannah, and Sam, and Paul, and everybody else in that group. Um, thank you for like basically sitting me down and saying, "Here's a free, here's a ticket for Shikari that we've got. Get listening to them and come with us." And especially to uh, Chris. And then at a Christmas party in 2014 uh, in Liverpool, 
after the show ended up in the dressing room with the guys and had a couple of drinks and then in the DJ booth and stuff and then from that night that's when my love for this band really skyrocketed and then because of that extra love and passion for the, for the band as people and their music I found other people through the Shikari community, through the Shikari family and most of the people that you see in these videos I wouldn't know without this band and without what they've done for me over the years. Um, so none of this would be happening without them, which is why, you know, we, we use them as, a, as an excuse, but we, we've, come to, we've come to Dublin, we've been to, all, to places all over Europe, and we're going to another continent later this year. Um, and that's all because of what, the, the, it's all because of the connections that the band helped me make. And there are no words to, to put that into context, really, that, um, they they kind of made all this happen in a, in a roundabout way. I'm going to go home now and sleep because I'm very very tired. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Hi mate, how you doing? It's only me. Shikari are on tour again. I think we're going to try and do the whole tour, but maybe we'll only get to one, I don't know. I miss you being able to come with us. It's been ten years, but it still feels... different. I feel guilty sometimes that I get to do all of this because you introduced me to the band, and it, it opened up so many paths for me, and... Now I'm doing all the things you should be doing too. And if things had been different, then we might not be doing any of this at all. And for so long, I felt guilty for that too. How can you possibly be happy that good things are happening because of bad things that happened? How can you be okay with finding happiness that only came about because of the worst time of your life? Sometimes you have to ask yourself, was it worth it? And of course it wasn't worth it, but I also don't hate where I am right now. So it has to have been worth it, doesn't it? It has to have all been worth something. I just wish I didn't have to lose so much to find what I've got right now. But because of being on that path, I met so many new friends, an entire new community of people, and now we travel the country and around the world together. All these festivals every year, a gig seemingly every other week, always something new to see and to do, always somewhere new to go, a new part of life to experience. Thousands of miles travelled, hundreds of live bands seen, countless new parts of the world visited, friends from an entire continent away, friends that have become so much more than just friends. Always full of laughs, always making new memories, making me a better person, giving me a home away from home. I used to think that if we could find ourselves in a universe where things were different, then I'd trade it all, and maybe the hardest part of accepting that you can't change the path you've taken to get here is learning to love the one you can walk from now on. And wherever we go from here, whether we choose a reality where we can do the entire tour or we only get to one show, we're on this path whether we like it or not. I guess I'll just have to keep walking down it and hope the next place it takes me is somewhere just as good as this. Stop the clock Stop the clock Some killing time I don't ever want this to end And you say that makes two of us There's a cinema in me It plays counterfeit scenes All my worries and blunders And you say that makes two of us Where's this present you speak of? Where's this heavenly bliss? I'm so sick of time travel And you see that makes two of us And all your life you just exist And all your life is moments missed And 
Two of us. 